In this demo, we'll see how a solution built with Microsoft SQL Server reporting services and Microsoft Office SharePoint Server can provide a robust platform for ad hoc reporting. As a customer service manager for Fabricam, I'm on the road most of the time. However, I still need access to the critical data in my Microsoft Dynamics GP system to stay on top of how the business is performing. In addition to just viewing standard reports, I also need the ability to create ad hoc reports to help me analyze the business. As a remote user, I'm able to use a VPN connection to sign into Fabricam's intranet site. Once signed in, I can launch the SQL Server Report Builder application directly from the Report Center in SharePoint. Report Builder features a user interface that is immediately familiar to anyone who has worked with Microsoft Office before, including the ribbon at the top of the screen. I'm going to use Report Builder to create a new Average Days to Pay report. First, I'll add the report title. To assist me in creating this report, I'll use the new table wizard. First, I'll select the data source I want to use in this report. Dynamics GP includes a number of predefined data sources that map to different areas of my business. In this case, I want to work with receivables data. Without knowing how the database is structured, I can easily navigate through familiar business entities to choose the ones I want in my report. I have the flexibility of arranging column or row groupings here. For this simple report, I'll just add my average days to pay item to the values field. I even have a few font and color schemes to choose from to customize the report. Now let's run this report and see what it looks like. Here's my report. As you can see, it's a single number summarizing up the average days to pay for all accounts in the system. However, it's difficult to tell just by looking at this number what it means. Is the value good or bad? Let's switch back to Design View and create some additional context around this value. First, I'm going to remove this table from my report. I'll ditch the grid view and insert a gauge. Graphics such as these gauges and charts are extremely valuable. They can provide context and make data much easier to consume. And just look at all the gauge types I have right at my fingertips. We're going to have dashboards everywhere, for everything. Report Builder provides several different kinds of reports I can build, including tables, matrices, charts, and gauges. In this case, I'm going to create a new gauge so I can compare the actual value of my data against the target value. To get started, I can simply drag my value onto the gauge. Now I'll resize this report. Let's see what this new gauge looks like. Here's the gauge I just created. Next, I might want to share this new report with my coworkers. I'll place it in the sales library on Fabricam SharePoint server, so it's easy to locate. Now that I've published my report, let's see how easy it is to view it on the corporate intranet. The SQL Server Report Manager allows users at Fabricam to easily view and edit reports, all from a single website. Here's the report I just published. As a remote user, I'm able to easily access the critical tools and information I need to quickly create ad hoc reports, 
using SharePoint Server and SQL Server reporting services, I can accomplish all this through my web browser, keeping me productive, even while I'm on the road. For more information, please contact your Microsoft representative.